All right, guys, so uh, today is the second day of the challenge. We are on the Santa Cruz uh, World Ridge, and we'll do the challenge of 70 miles on a trail. We'll test this bike to see how they do. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, a picture, a photo challenge, and uh, pretty much uh, today we're gonna do off-road riding. We did yesterday sand, beach, uh, we did uh, mostly highway, and uh, I think I mentioned we covered about 30 miles and I had half of the battery left. So today, fresh battery, and we'll see how much we can squeeze out of this uh, bike. This is mostly designed for off-road. Those are for the city, and we'll see how it uh, holds up. What is up, you guys? Tanner checking in. This is day two. We are out here at Wilder Ridge. Um, so far, we really got to test out some of the capabilities of these bikes off-road. We've had a lot of fun taking it off some jumps and testing out the suspension, and these things are actually surprisingly good off-road. So. We've had a blast. Me and Mike were playing around. He has a BMX background. I ride dirt bikes, so this is like right up our alley and we're really having a blast. I'm looking forward to the day. We've got a hill climb challenge later, so I'm going to do my best, have some fun and try to win the best photo contest. I actually got a stranger to ride on the bike, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the day. Grab on them hips! <laughs> <laughs> Get friendly with it. Yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta get friendly. <laughs> you may have won this one. But you will not win them all. That's... All right, so we're at Wilder Ridge, and uh, this is definitely the one that I'm looking forward to the most because this is more of my background. I like to be able to ride dirt trails on any bike, so I'm gonna be putting this thing to the test with jumps, even though it's not made for it. Uh, we're gonna be doing this hill climb, and I feel like I've already taken the best picture so far, but I'm gonna continue to take pictures because I wanna win every one of these challenges. If I can't win the highest speed because we do have a bike that is faster uh, over there, but uh, we're gonna keep to it and see what we can get done. So I'm not too sure what to expect when it comes to these specific trails, but I know every trail has its own element that I can adapt to. And with the BMX background that I have, and I also love riding traditional mountain bikes, I like to adapt to any scenario. So uh, earlier I saw on the trail that there was like a lot of like berms and curves and good ways to kind of pop out of the transitions to, like I said, kind of give my own little flavor to my riding style on these bikes. down this hill that I'm riding up right now. I'm going about nine miles an hour. I'm using a pedal assist level five, and this is like a 15 degree grade in my opinion. I'm not a you know, perfect mathematician when it comes to this type of stuff, but it's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of different terrain for us to be able to kind of cruise down. This is gonna be a race, and we're gonna see who wins. We got Magic Mike, number one right. contestant, winning it big, Hemiway Zebra, and go! You ready? All right. Go! go. All right.
definitely the slowest one though. Started out the day at Wilder Ridge, did some beautiful trail riding on the shore. That had to be one of my favorite parts of this day. We really just got to see the scenery, California vibes, and really just got to soak in the views and everything in the area. Um, I will say I am very, I don't want to say surprised, but pleased with how the bikes did off-road. For not having rear suspension on the Zebra, it actually performed really well, even compared to the Cobra, which is a little bit more expensive. So for a budget option, I really think the Zebra is a great value and I've had a blast riding it the whole time. So we've done about 60 miles so far and we actually had to cancel the second trail ride for the day because it was closed. We ended up finding another location, which was beautiful. And once again, we just got to test out the off-road capabilities. I used walk mode several more times. And overall, I was just very pleased with how the bike performed. The trip so far has been going amazing, especially now at this location, the sun's out, the temperature's up. And yeah, overall, I've just been having a blast. Thank you to Hemiway for putting this on. I really appreciate it. And we're all having a really good time. I liked it and I want to do it again. And I feel like we should have had a longer race. Uh, and be able to do all three riders at the same time, I think would be more challenging and more interesting because you can like, you know, you push beyond your limits and try to compete and like, you know, it's, it's cooler. When you have just uh, one person going down and it's a timer, I think it's different. You're not pushing to the max. But the surprisingly, uh, I had advantage because I had more suspension, right? So I felt like I had more control and I'm curious to see what will be the time at the end between the uh, three of us, uh, but yeah, I like that. That was cool. And uh, I don't have this kind of terrain in New York. So I, I try to go to Central Park or New Jersey or Connecticut somewhere nearby and get some trails, but they're not so extreme. Uh, they're a little bit more mild. So that was a lot of fun. I like that. Oh yeah, I was kind of like, uh, Mike was bombing down the hills, like he was going really fast. And I was like, whoa, this is like, it's fun. It's cool. But to me, like I'm, safety is the, the most important thing for me. So I'm like, okay, this is, might not be safe for me, so I was kind of hesitant, but after first try, I'm like, I want to do it again. Like, it was so much fun, and the bikes actually handled pretty well. Uh, the Cobra has the standard suspension, the Pro has more advanced suspension, so more control, and better brakes, better settings, more power. But I feel like the, 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 the Cobra did pretty well, and you can actually do more. If you do like the route two or three times, we can squeeze better time and really push hard. So. I'm surprised nothing bre nothing broke on that model and uh, supported very, very well, yeah. I like it right in the city. Uh, my model that I have been riding for the last couple of days is not designed for the city, but I feel like it's more plush, more comfort, and I'm surprised the range is amazing. Like I'm getting on half of the battery, like 28 to 30 miles. So I'm planning tonight or today or tomorrow in LA when I get there, if it's a nice weather to really squeeze a full battery and see how much I can get out of, uh, let's say, full charge battery to give you guys some specs uh, and numbers. Uh, but yeah, so far I'm impressed that uh, the bike is doing pretty well. Uh, they're not meant uh, for what we did with them, especially the Zebras, and they're still one piece. So, And these guys are going hardcore. So I've mainly stayed on the Zebra step through just because, I don't know, I kind of like the way that bike feels. I, I tested out the Cobra a little bit, but the step through I feel like is a good balance of gravel and riding the terrain that we were riding today. So like riding downhill and doing this fun race kind of put it to the test, but um, I guess with my riding background, it made it a lot easier for me to kind of maneuver the bike and understand how it goes, but it's been a good time. And I feel like the bike has exceeded my expectations with every terrain that we've basically thrown at it. I just hit 81 mile mark. I have a fully charged battery. Yesterday I stopped at 28.7 mile mark and the battery was halfway, so I fully charged it this morning, and I covered 52 miles in range. This is insane. On this frame size and weight, 4.0 inch wide tires, these tires are so heavy. This is impressive. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, more updates coming soon.